inside those fences, and we're going to go get them and record a promo demo. Hey! Hey! Look, look at you guys! Ah! You guys look like twins! <laughs> I thought you guys were having a domestic or something. I didn't know what was happening. <laughs> how you doing, buddy? Good. Good to see this you, This is man. my son, Brandon. Brandon. Hi! Hi buddy. I have to wave to that before I wave to you. No, Absolutely! Look at that! <laughs> okay, guys. Today is the day. We are doing a brand new pro promo demo with the legend, the man. He's real. Steve Bloom. <laughs> <laughs> How I'm, are you? I'm it's throwing good to see some you. things, not this thing. So, well, this is really yeah. cool because obviously everyone knows you. Animation, games, anime. You have such a huge body of work there, but maybe people don't know you as a promo voice. Yeah, they don't. And that I'm trying to change that by yeah. working with you guys, and you are the best in the whole business. So. Oh, well, look at that. Yeah. That's very kind. <laughs> well, you're in amazing hands with Chuck. Um, I know that. And what was it that kind of made you say, I mean, obviously, you're an incredible storyteller. Promo is just a different flavor of storytelling. Mm -hmm. So what is it that's made you say, I got to do some promos? Well, I think what it was is that I started teaching recently. And mm -hmm. I'm teaching online webinars. And I've been telling my students that they have to continually challenge themselves. Yeah. And I needed a new challenge. I'm, I, I don't ever want to get so comfortable that I feel like I can, I can ride the wave. and Because yeah. the wave is always changing. Uh, so I wanted to do something that scares me a little bit, mm -hmm. and I did a promo demo years ago. It wasn't very good, uh, so I decided if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it right. Yes. And uh, it's really fun because this is the first time I think I've been nervous going into a studio mm -hmm. in years. That's good. And I like that. I yes. like the butterflies. I like I like the idea of yeah. not really knowing if I've got this yet or not. Yeah. So I'm I'm trusting Chuck and his wisdom to to guide me through yeah. that process. Well, you're open. You're yeah. highly directable. That's the word on the street. Well, yeah, we hope. <laughs> um, tell everybody your, your website for teaching. Oh, it's bloomvoxstudios.com. B-L-U-M. Yes. Vox, V-O-X, studios.com. Yeah. Okay, so we're with you. This is it? Yes. This okay. is it. We're, we're going to go do it. Now. We're putting you in the awesome studio bricks on our fabulous Sennheiser 416. Woo! And get ready. Fasten your seatbelts because uh, here we go. This is going to be fun. Uh, the reason why we're doing this uh, voiceover spotlight session is to show you guys that in the process of recording a professional demo, that even the pros are allowed to make mistakes. And we fix them and we do it till it's right. And at the end of today's session, you're going to be able to hear Steve's complete full promo demo completely produced for your listening pleasures. So, Steve, is there a process that you do normally to warm up before you start voicing? Uh, usually I make really awful sounds or, or baby noises, <clears throat> or I, I have some things that help with the alliteration. Let's, can we try one of those? I, sure. want, I want people to see your, like, you did a, a funny thing not too okay. long ago that I thought was fantastic. Okay, a little mic check thing. A little okay. mic check. Here's a mic, Steve Bloom's mic check, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Bill Rambo, 650, Dorothy Yes Man, the Axe-Wave, and Pepper and Drew's Company of Bashville, Johnny C. Home of the Grand Old Conglomeration, Fanny Hill University, in the bathtub of the south it's 7 30. <laughs> that's from hudson and landry it's way before your time I, no it's not before my time <laughs> but it's hysterical i love it i love it and by the way um we're using a 416 microphone today yes. on steve because we're doing promos and not only is it my go-to mic um, for almost anything that I do, but it is the best mic that you could probably use for promo and trailer because you could work it really, really close, and it just slices through any production that you throw at it, which is why everybody uses it, by the way. Yeah. Um, so uh, are you ready to get started? I'm ready to get started. What do you feel is a good, a good warm-up for you? I think maybe the glow spot, just because it's okay. closest to my natural speaking voice. Okay, great. So I have Glow in front of me here. This is going to be for streaming on Netflix. And uh, we're going for a real sarcastic, dry, not hard sell, kind of your, just, you know, your own voice. So let's see where you go with it, Steve, and then I'll kind of redirect from there. Cool? Okay. All awesome. Right, excellent. Yep. So whenever you're ready, we are rolling. Okay. These women know what they want and do what they want. It's not who you are. It's who you can become. Glow. Streaming on Netflix. Cool. I like that, man. I really like that a lot. 
do you think that we can even just throw it away a little bit more? Sure. You know, because the this, this show is so, like, freaking crazy. Yeah. I was enjoying the sound of me a little too much. Well, like, and I have to say, <laughs> you, do, you do sound pretty great out here. Well, I don't normally use this kind of microphone, so it's kind of fun. I want to do one little thing. So over here we have an SOT, and for those people to know what SOT is, it stands for Sound on Tape. And uh, I know that we don't use tape anymore, but they're still keeping the SOT. Uh, they're still calling it that. So sound on tape, that's a little part of the show. In this instant right here, Steve, you're actually almost introducing that little piece. Oh, okay. Rather than just, you know, you're on your own, then an SOT comes, then you're on your own. You're introducing it. Um, uh, and so, so when you're reading it this time, do a little bit more of an introduction, like check this out. Okay. Okay. I'm part of the action. Yeah, you're yeah. part of the action okay. a little bit. Okay. All right. And we are rolling. These women know what they want and do what they want. It's not who you are. It's who you can become. Glow streaming on Netflix. I love that. Cool. That was really, really, really cool. Um, uh, in fact, I felt that one. You know, it was just it, it just felt like a promo. Even without anything on it, it felt like a promo. Um, and again, the whole idea of a promo, whether you're throwing it away or not, is to entice mm -hmm. somebody to want to watch either that episode or the show. Great job on that. Excellent. That felt good. Beautiful. Yeah, we are moving on, I ladies did. and gentlemen. Yes! Um, what would you like to do next? Uh, I have Gold Rush, White Butter. I'm going to disrobe for this one. <laughs> <laughs> The oh, stakes no. are higher. Oh, no. All the ladies just went crazy right now. <laughs> uh, and a few men, too, I hope. And a few men, too. <laughs> Do you want to flex a little? And some undecided. You want to flex a little bit? Yeah. You want uh -oh. to flex? <laughs> there you go. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so this is Gold Rush, uh, White Water for on, on Discovery, and um, let's see where you go. There's direction here, you know, adventure, death defying, a little danger. Let's see where you go with it, and then we'll redirection it. Okay. Okay. Um, and we are rolling. A father and son risk it all in the deadly Alaskan wilderness, in the hunt for millions in gold. Fortune comes at a price. Gold Rush Whitewater, next on Discovery. Okay, cool. So I still want to get more Steve in there. Okay. That sounded like Steve doing a guy that would do this. Okay. See, that's a great thing about people that have this amazing, great tone, God-given, which you can't, you can't learn that. You don't have to do that much in today's promo world. Okay. Because if it's too much, it's almost like an over-salted dish. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, that's a and, relief, actually. And I know you. Yeah. And if I can hear that that was like, you know, God, he just like over-seasoned it, mm -hmm. um, then everybody else is going to hear the same thing, especially after they hear something like Glow, which yeah. is more your own voice. Yeah. They're going to be like, well, that's who he is. Why is he doing that? Oh, okay. You see what I'm saying? Okay. Because the natural stuff is much bigger today. Awesome. Okay. So let's go for keep the danger, keep the, you know, the adventure, but I want to hear Steve. Okay present that okay and we are rolling a father and son risk it all in the deadly alaskan wilderness in the hunt for millions in gold fortune comes at a price gold rush whitewater next on discovery beautiful much better and by the way if you look at the the waveform it's all like this same amount of uh, of intensity and all in fact i'm gonna just so you guys at home can see this real quick uh I'm going to show you guys right there. So see how he started here and he was nice and big. And then all of a sudden we started dying out in, uh, in energy there. And then on this over here, check this out. Energy there, energy there. So the whole thing is pretty much balanced with good energy throughout. This is um, science, people. Science. Well, you know, but listen, it's only because I can hear it, but I can yeah. also see it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And sometimes when we're in the booth, we're not paying attention to these little things that in the final outcome make a huge difference. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, this is why you go to a professional. This is why you need a director, right? <laughs> this is why Brad Pitt or any of your favorite actor doesn't make a movie without having a director because yeah. you can sit there and do your thing, but you need somebody to be watching and hearing and saying, hey, try it more like this or do it that or you didn't, you know, it wasn't enough of this. Um, it's necessary. 
So let's try it again. I love that. And I just want it a little faster. Okay. Don't check this out. Don't take too much time with, you know, in the hunt for millions in gold. Okay. Just spew it out. Okay. And we are rolling. A father and son risk it all in the deadly a father and son risk it all in the deadly Alaskan wilderness in the hunt for millions in gold. Fortune comes at a price. Gold Rush Whitewater, next on Discovery. Beautiful. That was fantastic. Oh, better. And what happens is, if you start milking lines too much, it becomes too much about you yeah. and less about the show. Yeah. yeah. And we have to remember that in promos, and listen, in the Don LaFontaine days, was that was that. what people wanted. You yeah. know, they wanted to be about the voice and let's milk, milk it more. Yeah. Um, in a world, you know what I mean? Yeah. That was even built, right? Yeah. Nowadays, it's like, no, it's about the show. Yeah. The visuals are going to guide the, the, the viewer. You just need to get it out. Right. Okay? And I want to just say something that, you know, it, it, when you're, when to the people out there, just in general, when you're recording a promo demo, a commercial demo, a narration demo, whatever kind of a demo that it is that you're recording, it is so important that you don't, look at it as you trying to sound like the the guy that does it. You know what I mean? Because obviously we are doing real spots for real shows. And the purpose of this demo is not to say, hey, look, I can sound like the guy that does this because they already have that guy. The purpose of this is that you can show what Steve sounds like on this type of a show. So that if ABC is looking for a new voice for a new late night show or a new show of some kind, and they're looking for this type of a read, and they can say, oh, wow. Otherwise, they already have the guy that does that other thing that they do. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to duplicate what somebody else does. That's a, that, you don't want to copy them. You want to add your own flavor, mm -hmm. okay? And that's what's going to make this demo great. It's going to be all his flavor. It's so funny because I know that for animation and video games. Yeah. I know that the whole idea is to bring the unique... The, you, the most authentic form of you to the party, yeah. it didn't even occur to me that that would apply to this. Absolutely. So that was a big lesson. Yeah. We are done with that. We are moving on. Okay. Um, where would you like to go to next, Steve? I'm thinking Jimmy Kimmel. Ooh. I love me some Jimmy Kimmel. Changing things up a little bit here. We're moving on. Jimmy Kimmel, ABC. Um, uh, we have here a dude kind of laid back, uh, quick pace, big smile. Um, let's see what you, where you go with it, okay? Okay. We are rolling. Jimmy is all new with Grace and Frankie stars Lily Tomlin and Jane Fonda. Jimmy Kimmel Live, later tonight on ABC. There you go. And I always make a comment that anytime I see a late night show promo, it always sounds like he's talking to people that are like stoned. Yeah. <laughs> and the thing is, they because they probably are. <laughs> I was going to say, talk to drunk people at a bar. There you go. Yeah. Talk to drunk people at a bar. Yeah. Great direction, Stacey. <laughs> uh, okay, so love that. And again, that had a little bit more of the fun and it really got me into like that kind of vibe. Yeah. So let's grab one more. So in fact, you know what? Give me two in a row. Okay. Because I love what you just did. All right. The important thing here, man, is to keep that big smile, okay? Okay. And we are rolling two in a row. Yo, Jimmy is all new with Grace and Frankie stars Lily Tomlin and Jane Fonda. Jimmy Kimmel Live, later tonight on ABC. Yo, Jimmy is all new with Grace and Frankie stars Lily Tomlin and Jane Fonda. Jimmy Kimmel Live, later tonight on ABC. Now that was completely different. Completely different, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And those are... Those are some of the cool things that, that we sometimes we try something for fun and it, we go like, wait a minute, that was different. I mean, because he didn't sound like you were stoned, but you sounded like you could relate with people that are up that late. Yeah. You know what I mean? That don't have to wake up at six o'clock in the morning to go to work. He's got a couple glasses of scotch. Before. Maybe, yeah. you know, right? Yeah. But and, and, and we still got the laid back. You, you kind of slowed it down a little bit, you know, but it still had that super fun kind of vibe, yeah. you know? Um, so good, Steve. You, cool. Your direction taking, buddy, is just like out of this world great. Awesome, man. Thank yeah. you. Do you want to try one with just Jimmy's all new instead of Jimmy is? Yeah. Stacy has a great idea. Let's 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 do. Oh, you heard that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's okay. try one with uh, Jimmy's. Jimmy's all new. And okay. here we go. We are rolling. Yo, Jimmy's all new with Grace and Frankie stars Lily Tomlin and Jane Fonda. Jimmy Kim alive later tonight on ABC. Love, love, love. Great direction, Stacy. Awesome. Yeah. That was really, really cool. Love it. Okay, we're done with All that, right. man. Let's move on. 
Um, by the way, big shout out to Stacy J on the camera right there uh, for producing and writing some incredible scripts. Um, Yes, yeah, really for, for your demo. Really um, you know, the, the cool thing about, you know, creating scripts for, for, uh, for a, a, a demo is to have scripts that are true to the show and brand, product or service. Uh, so you don't want to do something that they wouldn't do, but you also don't want to steal exactly what they're doing. Um, so this is a great example of that. Great job, Stace. Thank you. Um, so uh, let's go for this, man. I'm, this is for Manifest. This is a, a, a cool drama on NBC. Let's see what Steve does with okay. this. Okay? And we're rolling. For the lost to be found, time is running out. Manifest, Monday at 10 on NBC. Okay, cool. I like that. But because this show has drama and suspense, mm -hmm. it's too loud. It is too loud. Okay, yeah. great. So I can really totally. can I snug in on the mic? You can totally snug okay. in on the mic. All right. And 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 don't again, you already have this big thing. So if you put too much of that, you're over seasoning the read. Okay. Okay? All right. And we are rolling. For the lost to be found, time is running out. Manifest Monday at ten on NBC. Beautiful. That's the voice right there, by the way. Cool. I love that. Cool. Again, I want to do one more, just like that, but uh, for the loss to be found. Let's just tie those in. Tie it together, okay. Okay? Uh, and then you can milk it a little bit on time. It's running out. Great. Okay? Exactly. And we are rolling. For the lost to be found, time is running out. One more. For the lost to be found. Is it? Are, do you like the double T's there? Is, um... I don't know what sounds better out there to you. Uh, For lost to, to be found. Soften it up a little. Great, okay. okay. And we are rolling. For the lost to be found, time is running out. Manifest, Monday at 10 on NBC. Beautiful, I love that. And I don't know if you were aware of what you just did, but you took the first two lines, or the first three lines, and you gave me story. That was the story of the promo, and then you went manifest, Monday at 10 on NBC, which is information, mm -hmm. end of story, yep. and you changed it around, and that's what makes a great promo great, is when the talent just knows how to do that. Were you doing that uh, I, I did do on that purpose? purpose, yeah. Good. Yeah, good. I yeah, love I that. I didn't know if I'm allowed to do that in I'll this genre, but yeah. Totally, that's dude. Awesome. Fantastic. Awesome. Beautiful. Awesome. So good, we are moving on. So Steve, where do you want to go to next? The Resident. The Resident on Fox. Fox. Okay, so The Resident on Fox. This is a little bit more of an in-your-face drama quick pace read. Mm -hmm. And let's see where you go with it, and we will uh, redirect from there. Ready? Yep. Whenever you're ready, we're rolling. What you see is not always real. The Resident, next Monday, 8, 7 Central on Fox. I want to do a little bit more with C. So okay. instead of what you see, I want to do like, you know, what you see. Oh, okay. All right? Okay. Because we want to have some visuals there. Remember... There's an SOT, and in the SOT, we are going to see what you're talking the about. The thing, yeah, okay. So introduce it. Okay. And we are rolling. What you see is not always real. What you see is not always real. The Resident, next Monday, 8, 7 Central on Fox. Beautiful. I love that. That was so great, man. Um, let's grab two in a row because you totally nailed it. Okay. Now, do you have your your, your hands crossed for a reason? I did for that particular. Okay. Reason. Very very I'm good. As long as you're right. doing it for a reason yep. Yep. and it's not a nervous twitch, no. uh, then we're good. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just did that to see if it affected the voice. Differently. Okay. Yep. So so excellent. Two in a row. Okay? okay. In fact, three in a row. Okay. Make each one a little bit different. Okay. And we are rolling. What you see is not always real. The Resident, next Monday, 8, 7 Central on Fox. What you see is not always real. The Resident, next Monday, 8, 7 Central on Fox. What you see is not always real. The Resident, next Monday, 8, 7 Central on Fox. Beautiful. I love it, man. Those were all great. Sweet. Um, we move on. Okay. All right, you're making this... Uh... Look way too easy, buddy. <laughs> uh, some of these don't feel that way for me. So How is good. anybody yeah. supposed to learn when you're being that good? Dude, it's it's a process. <laughs> I'm learning as I'm doing this. It's amazing. I'm learning so much just by doing this with you. I want to do this with you every week until I get uh -huh. better at it. So. We're moving on to what, Sheldon? Sheldon, yes. Okay, cool. Young Sheldon. Yeah. So 
Um, and, and, and this is cool to see, man, because we just did something that was more, you know, that was like this drama, you know, what you see, right? Yeah. And now we have the flip to that, yeah. which is a an upbeat, <clears throat> funny, uh, friendly, conversational uh, CBS comedy. Uh, and I, I, I can't wait to hear what you go, where you go with this. Okay. Um, so let's see, okay? All right. And we are rolling. CBS Thursday with the school bully on his side. Is there anything our kid genius can't do? New young Sheldon, followed by a new mom. CBS Thursday. Cool. I love that. It just sounded a little bit reedy. Okay. Right? Uh, right? So, da, 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 da. is there anything a kid genius can't do? Just more thrown away. Like, okay. you're just saying it and not reading it, okay? Okay. And, we, and remember, maybe you're Sheldon's buddy. Okay. All right? You really like this little kid. And All right. we are rolling. CBS Thursday, with a school bully on his side. Is there anything our kid genius can't do? The new CBS Thursday, with a new... S Sorry. That was great. I'll get it. CBS Thursday, with a school bully on his side. Is there anything our kid genius can't do? New young Sheldon, followed by a new mom. CBS Thursday. Fo one more. It's a followed by a new mom. Okay. CBS Thursday, with a school bully on his side. Is there anything our kid genius can't do? New young Sheldon, followed by a new mom. CBS Thursday. Followed by a new mom. Oh, Just right. give me that last line. New young Sheldon, followed by a new mom. CBS Thursday. Ah? Uh -huh. That felt good. Ah? Uh -huh. That was fun. Ah? Uh -huh. the whole tone at the end. B yeah. Completely. I love that, man. And just because you did so good with that last one, for the heck of it, for our finale, the grand finale, <laughs> um, because yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is our last spot. I want to do one more, and I just don't want you to think about it. And if you flub, just pick it up and fix it and keep going, okay? okay. Um, but I want the grand finale, okay. and we are rolling. CBS Thursday with the school bully on his. CBS Thursday with the school bully on his side. Is there anything our kid genius can't do? New young Sheldon, followed by a new mom, CBS Thursday. Beautiful. That was great, man. We are done, ladies Woo! and gentlemen. Get down, Woo! Mr. Blue. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and I didn't even bleed. Well, we don't we might be bleeding internally, <laughs> but we can't see the blood. I feel good. I feel good that we I feel good that Steve feels good. I feel good. That went so much better than I thought it would. Honestly. <laughs> I was nervous about this. It was it was a, a great learning experience, and you're a great teacher. Okay, so we just finished recording a brand new promo demo with Steve Bloom. Mm -hmm. um, so, Steve, I wanted to ask you uh, first of all, how do you feel after coming out of the booth? And because you were in there for you know a good hour yeah. or so, how do you feel? Uh, a little cooler and relieved. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the nerves were going through there. It was it was great. It was a great learning experience. It's a humbling thing to have been doing voiceover for 30 years yeah. and to feel like there's still so much new stuff to learn yeah mm. and it was great and and some of the stuff once you gave me the direction i needed i went oh okay i know how to get there as yeah. long as i know what to do exactly so, yeah. so so what do you think it was a difference between promo wise where you thought you needed to go and where you actually feel now that oh okay i didn't kind of know that like what what did you learn in regards to your deliveries i think the biggest lesson was that i can uh, inject a lot of me into it uh, i didn't have to be something else and uh, and i should know that intuitively and yeah. and because i've been doing it for so long but i it didn't occur to me that i could just seek out the most authentic version of myself within the boundaries of what I need to do for each promo. Beautiful. So, yeah, that was, glad. that was cool. That was really cool. Yeah, that is really cool, man. And so for the people out there that, I mean, the people that know you, because everybody knows <laughs> Steve Bloom, and if you don't, where the hell have you been? I know. Um, <laughs> so for the people out there that might, you know, that know you, you know, from video games and the animation world, um, this is this is a new genre that you're planning on going out mm -hmm. to seek out. Um, is there a reason? Yeah, just because I wanted to challenge myself. Uh, I... I'm pretty comfortable in animation video games yeah. and even commercials to, to some degree. But promos has always been this elusive alien area of the business that I haven't put a lot of attention to. Uh -huh. And uh, it, it caused me to study. Because I'm teaching now, I want to be a student now too. 
And I think that's important yeah. to do that so that I can be authentic with my students. Yeah. yeah. And by the way, uh, you do have a website where you do yes. some teaching one more time. Yeah. Bloomvoxstudios.com. Please Bloom join Vox us. Studios. Please join us. Live yeah. webinar. Um, and yeah. I always I always have to I always like to say this because this is so true. If you want to be successful in any genre, okay, no matter what it is that you're doing, doesn't even have to be voiceover, the fastest way to accomplish success in any field is to follow somebody's advice who's already been there and already done it. Mm -hmm. And that's what you're doing with your students, and man. actively doing it Act every day. Exactly, because yeah. Steve yeah. is not the guy that used to do something and now yeah. he doesn't do it anymore. <laughs> and so he's days? teaching be, to make extra yes. money because he can't pay his Remember rent. When you were you know, that's not the deal. I always tell people, don't learn from people that used to do it and now can't do it. Learn from yeah. people that are still that doing are it. still well, somebody. When I'm teaching my classes, half the time I'm screaming in at the last couple seconds yeah. from a session somewhere and I'm mm -hmm. sweaty and gross and people stuff off as I'm running to the mic and yeah and I think that's the best way to do it because it's all fresh there's new challenges that you can grab along the way that you can pass on Absolutely. what made you want to teach uh, I didn't want to teach actually I've been I was I sort of have was been a doing vet, it or? <laughs> kind of no I've been doing sort of accidentally at conventions mm -hmm. for years mm -hmm. every time I've done a Q&A session it turns into a teaching moment mm -hmm. And my business partner, Trina, has been bugging me for years and years and years to teach. And she mm -hmm. said that I'm a natural teacher. I didn't believe her. And I was super resistant to it. Plus, I didn't have classical training. So I had to deconstruct everything I've been right. doing for the last 30 years and figure out how to share that. Mm -hmm. And I took, on, took it on as another challenge. I like, cool. you know, I'm, I'm in my 50s now, but I still want to continue challenging myself every yeah. day. Fifties are the new fabulous. Right? Why Absolutely. Why um, Life so, begins at 50-something. Right? So you felt the way you felt when you came in. Yeah. Now you're done with the promo demo. How do you feel now? I feel really good. Did it you learn good. anything about yourself or or your process as an actor through recording this demo? Yeah, I mean, it's it's really interesting because I studied a lot before I came into the booth today and I had a lot of precon preconceived ideas of how to pronounce things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when you let me just change it up and play, it was, it was freeing and it felt really good. Yeah. And I felt like I didn't have to be or do anything except what was right for the spot and natural in that moment and listen to my director. Beautiful. Love yeah. that. Yeah. And and as long as you're directable, that goes a long way in this oh, business. Yes. Absolutely. So, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I think that right now That's we're gonna let you guys take a listen to Steve Bloom's brand new promo demo. Mm -hmm. And here it is. I'm so excited. What do you see? The potential of this device is unlimited. Is not always real. If he's not having seizures, there's no medical reason to keep him in the hospital. The Resident, next Monday, 8, 7 central on Fox. CBS Thursday, with a school bully on his side. Unless you want to shake hands and laugh about this over a glass of milk. Is there anything our kid genius can't do? New young Sheldon, followed by a new mom. CBS Thursday, a father and son risk it all in the deadly Alaskan wilderness. It's only a... 250 foot straight down fall. In the hunt for millions in gold. Tighten up! Tighten up! Fortune comes at a price. Gold Rush Whitewater, next on Discovery. Jimmy is all new with Grace and Frankie stars Lily Tomlin and Jane Fonda. Jimmy Kimmel Live, later tonight on ABC. For the lost to be found. Time is running out. Last night you said it's coming. Are we in danger? Manifest, Monday at 10 on NBC. These women know what they want and do what they want. Every woman has a wrestling character sleeping inside of them. It's not who you are, it's who you can become. Glow, streaming on Netflix.